in his time. God makes everything beautiful in his time. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11. God's got a perfect time to do everything we need for him to do. Our problem is we're, we're rather impatient. We like everything easy and smooth and now. We're, we're so impatient that sometimes when you're riding in your car and you, your telephone rings or vibrates, you, 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 know, you have that tendency, who's calling me? And sometimes people are just dying to find out. And I say that sadly because some people, they do die simply because they want to find out who's calling them and so impatient that they can't wait or pull over and find out. Time. In his time. We want things in a hurry, don't we? I mean, today's catchwords are uh, instant, uh, quick. Rush, fast, hurry. I mean, we do everything in a hurry. We'll, we'll pull into a, a, a fast food line to buy a quick sandwich so we don't have to get out of the car and keep on going. We'll pay extra to get that overnight shipping. And when we're in the grocery store, we look for the fastest checkout line. Of course, if you're like me, I find it. But when I get in it, it stops moving. God doesn't work our way. God works in his way. You got to realize that a day with the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years is as a day. He knows what we need. He's got a perfect plan for us. It's just we need to wait. Israel, they were in the wilderness for 40 years until they got into the promised land. Between the Old Testament and the New Testament was 400 years and then hallelujah the Messiah came. Uh, Jesus, when coming to the grave of, of Lazarus, waited four days before he got there. And it was the fourth watch of the night before Jesus went out to the disciples on that stormy sea. The Bible tells us to wait. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. The, the song goes on to say, teach us Lord just to wait. Waiting upon the Lord. And I know that's not easy. I know the words I'm speaking to you are easy, uh, more easily spoken than they are lived out. But God does know best for us. I mean, he says in Psalms 46:10, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still means to stop being anxious and relax. Relax knowing God has us on a journey. And it might be a mysterious journey because we wonder sometimes, why have I got to go through this? Why is this happening to me? And some of you are thinking that right now. Well, I'm going to tell you, don't worry. God will come through for you. He will come through for you. It might not be the way you think, he comes through with the best plan. He knows what you need. We can trust him with everything. Yeah, we do have a responsibility and there's some things that we are to do, but then there are some things that there's absolutely nothing you can do about. I had uh, a little uh, dog uh, years ago. We, we, uh, we love animals and, and uh, we had a little old poodle and my wife and I were called to, a, uh, to do a, an evangelistic meeting somewhere. And um, so I, I left the dog with my parents. Well, they let him out and he took off. They couldn't find him. And for five days, they did everything they could with newspaper ads, uh, telephone calls, and searching, and no dog. When I got home, of course they told me the news. The first thing I did was, I can get this done. I know where he might be. And I drove around and around looking in yards, knocking on doors, couldn't find him. I went to different neighborhoods. I knocked on doors, I couldn't find him. For hours, we searched. 
in places that had already been searched. And I got to the last place and I knocked on the door and this was my prayer when I went through the door. If they don't know where my dog is, then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop. And of course they didn't. I got in the car and I prayed and I apologized. I said, God, I've tried to work things out myself. I've tried to do everything in my power to do what only you can do. And I do trust you, Lord. I, I do. And I just pray that you'll bring my dog back. Well, we drove from that place and when I pulled in the driveway, and there my mom was holding the dog. Oh, folks, I can't tell you how happy I was. I was happy to tears. I actually started crying. And I went down on my knees and grabbed hold of my dog and just loved the fire out of him. Well, you know, God made that beautiful. And I believe that God can make your situation beautiful too. I don't know what you're going through. I don't have the answers for you as far as man's ability and wisdom goes, but I do know God, and He'll come through for you if you'll let Him in His time. He's got perfect timing. He has perfect timing. You've got nothing to lose by holding on by faith. You've got nothing to lose by continuing to believe Him. And then, hallelujah, you'll have that which is made beautiful by the Lord in his time. There's a song that goes right along with Ecclesiastes 3.11. In his time, it makes everything beautiful. And I want to sing that, I invite my grandson to come on in here and, and join me. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. Everything just right. God is for you, and if he's for you, Nothing can be against you in his time, in his time, he makes all things beautiful in his time, Lord, please show me every day as your teeth. Just what you say in your time, in your time, in your time. You make all things beautiful in your time. Lord, my life to you I bring, made song. 